Hi everyone, in this video we will create a table in HTML. Uh, they're pretty straightforward. Uh, our, all, all you really need to know is the format of the HTML elements that contained there. Nothing tricky about it. So I'm going to switch over to Putty, which is right here, and we'll get started. You see I already have created I've got a file started here because it's the standard file again, right? There's our H there. Yeah, excuse me, our HTML container. It holds a head element and a body element. Right? Okay, the head element uh, once again has a title, so this will be displayed. This title right here will be displayed in the uh, in the tab of my browser when it's being viewed. So I'll put whatever there, I, whatever I want it to display in the browser. And once again, I'm using comments to indicate what I'm doing along the way, All right? So I'm just gonna create a table here. So I just mentioned, I made note of that. Remember, these are not viewed by the, by the browser or displayed, All right? This is strictly for other people reading the code. Now I have thrown in <clears throat> a link back to my Sys101 index. All right. As you can see, it's going back to my Sys101 index because I created a new file for this, so I wouldn't have other stuff in the same file with it. Um, but, you know, it's just the way I put it together. You can put it together any way you would like. Um, I would like, though, when we go to my index, my Sys101 index, there should be a link on the index that points to this file and from this file back to the index. All right. I do want to be able to make that round trip. All right, so let's come on in and get started in the body. For a table, we start with simply TAB table. And I'll go ahead and create the closing tag right off the bat so I don't forget it, All right? And then I'm going to do I'll do two of those and push it back, and I'm going to build my table between those element, between those two tags. Okay, so inside here, I'll start building a few more things. The table is a pretty generic kind of word there, but usually when you think about a table, a table has um, data in the middle, right? There's there's um, it's made, it's made up of rows and columns. There's data in the middle, and uh, there are headers across the usually across the top. So there is a, an element for us to call th table headers. Um, there's table data td, which we'll use in the body of the table. Uh, there are table rows tr. You'll see me typing some of those in, and each td. Um, I'll show you as I, as I'm putting it together each. TD element that I enter will be another column. So let's just let's get right to it and, and see what we've got. So I'm first going to start with TR. So I'm going I'm to indent this a little bit too. So anytime I start a new table row, and I'll do this to in order to, well, the same reason, I don't want to forget to close this. And then I'm going to, that, that would be one row, and I could have another row. I'll just go ahead and do it like that. Come on in here, build another row. TR. And then the content, and then close TR. So I'm doing it this way to help, my, to help me prevent myself from making a mistake. And that mistake is I forget to put the closing um, element or closing tag there, and I don't want to see that happen. So I'm going ahead and um, closing it right off the bat because I, I know I need it. Right? So this table, uh, at this moment in time, has two rows, right, and no columns. Right? So let's start putting some columns in. Uh, usually, the very first row is where uh, the headers are, right. So each column has a header on top. So that will be a TH table header. And I'll go ahead and close that real quick, TH. So that's one column I just put in, 
right? And I'm going to put another one. TH, and then close it. TH. So how many how many columns do we want? Let's say three. TH. Close TH. All right, and then my row closes. So in the first row, I have a header followed by a header followed by another header. Okay, and then the row closes. Then we would go to the next one, and um, the, you should have the same uh, same number of um, of columns in every row, right? That would be weird to have a table where some columns are. <laughs> Some rows have more columns than other. That is not even really the right structure for a table. I wouldn't call that a table. I would call that, I don't know what. So then we'll go with TD, because this is just regular old data in this part, right? It's not a header or any kind of special data. To the data. Uh, the, the, the table header is just going to be text or something. But there is something different about it than, than the data that's in the body of the table, right? The data in the body of the table, so maybe it's the, the one of the first header might be name. So I'll go ahead and put that there. Name, right? So that's like a generic header for this whole thing. So that's the content, right? The blank spot, there's the opening tag, the content, and the closing tag. So name is my first one. And then I might have for the next one, um, table header starts right there. Age. Okay. And then we maybe have, I don't know, I'm going to make up something here. Year, meaning freshman, sophomore, junior. Okay. And that close that header. And then. How many headers do I have in here? Looks like I have more than I wanted. Oh, I see what I did. See, look what I did. I, I, I put, uh oh, let me get my cursor back here. I put age, the word that I want to describe that header that I would display. I put it, it I, it's not inside the, the element here, the table header element, right? It started right here, the table header, header element. That was, I put it between the end of one header and the beginning of the next. So it should be inside the beginning, right? So I've got to change year to age and, and, and move them all, shift them all down one. Okay, so that shouldn't have been right there. It should have been here. Table header, age, right? and then close the header and then open the header and we type the next one in. So we've got name, age, and then year. All right, and there's close the header and close the row. Now for table, the next row, the first, the first thing entered into the column here, the first column should be someone's name. So it's not the generic header, it's the actual data. And then close that piece of data. So you're using TD for the data and TH for the header. Now, it's, they are pretty much the same thing in some sense, but um, uh, we can, since we've distinguished them, right? We've, we've made a structural differentiation between what is a header and what is just plain data, then we can use that distinction uh, in our CSS when we're when we're um, uh, styling this thing. And maybe we would say we want the background of ths table headers to be yellow, so they're a little bit highlighted, right? And the background of tds to be I don't know light blue. So now we've got a blue kind of a blue and gold theme going on here, where data is uh, the background for data is blue and the background for all the headers is, is gold. So you see why I would do that? Let me go ahead and finish up this column here real quick. 
Okay, I've finished filling out the data on the last two columns uh, of my second row. And so let's just make sure that everyone sees that. This is the table, right? The whole thing's the table. This is first row in my table, second row in my table, right? And I've specified these as to be rows by using the TR element. So this, this table row starts there and ends here. And everything between here is the content. The content is filled with, in the case of the first row, I'm filling it with table headers, right? And I have three of them. Here's the first set, the second one, and the third one is in year, is for year. Now for the second row and on, if I keep making more and more rows, I'll use TD because that's just data, right? So I would put everybody's last name here in all the rows. So in this class, I would need, if we have 30 students, I would need 31 rows, right? So I would have TR, 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 31 times with a close on each one of them. And then if I only want this amount of data, these three things, name, age, year, then I only need three sets of open close or well, it's not called a set, let's just say three TD elements, or right? here's a TD element. That's data, that makes up one column. That's data. That makes up another column. So there's nothing descriptive about the number 51, right? Unless the header, the header describes what this number means. It gives some sort of, it's, it's just a number without, without knowing its age, right? The same with Boyer. I mean, you know my last name, but I'm sure we could find last names that could mean something other than, you know, they may have some other meaning. All right, and so that's it. And then we just keep going with table rows to, for however many we need and, um, and table datas in order to, to uh, make our columns. Already, if we want to add another, we just put another uh, table data in and a, and a header too. We need a header at the top, right? So we want to keep that top as the only place we use THs is in the first row because that's the way we build tables, right? I mean, there's certainly nothing's going to break if you use THs on all of the rows. It's just that it doesn't make sense. A table header is the first row. I mean, that's just the way we make them as you know, humans, even in Word. So that's what we want, just one, just the first row has headers and then all subsequent rows have table data, table data, table data. They always open, have open, close, and content. The table row, remember table row, it's open there, close there, and the content is all the data elements or all the header elements. And that's really all there is to it. So let's write this out and see what it looks like. I need to control out in case something's broken there. And I'll jump onto my browser here. Let me get you swapped over to the browser. All right, and so here's the link that I added, example table. Okay, there it is. So by default, the default style is, um, there's our headers, right? Is It looks like they're bold. And then here's our, our, in, our, uh, our data. <clears throat> there's my link back. So this doesn't really have any formatting associated with it. Not much. This is, again, the formatting is something that we would do in um, our CSS file. We will we'll do all kinds of things with this. So just like the things that you would do in Word, we can center these headers or we maybe we want to keep them left, justified. We can change the backgrounds. We can pad inside of the cells, which would be just TDs. Um, so there's uh, lots of different things that we can do uh, in order to format this table and make it look the way we want it to look. Uh, but We'll, we'll worry about well, that's next. This is the last element we have to. We just are worried right now. We're just worried about the structure, right? That's HTML. It's the structure. 
So we're, we're, we're giving this structure some sort of meaning by saying this is a table. That's different than a paragraph, right? Which is different than bold text. These things are, are we want to try to keep thinking of them in a structural kind of sense so that the, the elements that we're adding have meaning in, and we mean to put a paragraph in a particular place where we put a paragraph. And I don't want to use a table and think of it as something other than a table, right? Or an ordered list or an unordered list. These are just structural elements that I'm sticking into the document at, at certain places. Then we'll style them. We'll make them green or whatever, color them, use different fonts. That stuff, we'll do all that later. For right now, let's just get the structure built. Right? And so there's a table, an example of a table. It's pretty easy. It might be one of the easier ones. Well, they're all pretty easy. Now that you get the idea, they're all pretty easy, This is, which is why we're going to, I believe we're finished with HTML elements as we move into the midterm time. So that's going to do it for this video, and I'll see you on the next one, which I think will probably be CSS.